Tonight on the Pageant Cast, we talk to Manisha Verma. She's Miss Junior Teen United America 2011. I know you're going to love it, and you'll love meeting her out in Austin, Texas, where we'll be traveling soon for the National United America Pageant. Tonight on the Pageant Cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Pageant Cast, episode 335. Hi, I'm Mariah Haberman, Miss Wisconsin Central 2012, and you're watching the Pageant Cast. Hi, and welcome to the Pageant Cast. So glad that you could join us. We have a great show tonight. Uh, we really put this together in a quick fashion. We just recorded it about a week or so ago, and we already are, have it out here on the feed. Had to put together a lot of elements. This new video thing, wow, this is a lot of work. Tonight we're going to have Miss Junior Teen United America 2011 Manisha Verma on the show in just days before she has to take that crown and put it off her head because she's going to be crowning her successor in Austin, Texas, coming up not this week, but next weekend. And uh, we'll be there. The pageant cast will be there. And if you're there, please come up to us. Tell us where you watch us. If it's on YouTube, on Blip, or you check us out on Facebook. Or if you're one of our podcast subscribers and actually go through the feed. Believe it or not, we still have a lot of people that go through the feed uh, and don't live stream even though we're video. And, of course, you can watch us on the phone and all those sorts of great things. We'd love to hear more and hope to see lots of you out there in Austin, Texas for the fantastic United America pageants. Okay, we're going to get things started. We're talking again to Manisha Verma. She's Miss Junior Teen United America 2011. I think you're going to love this interview. We had a blast shooting it. So uh, let's get things started today on the pageant. It's time for another great interview on the TKPN Podcasting Network. This is the pageant cast and we're so excited because we're calling Manisha Verma. She's Miss Junior Teen United America 2011. Hello, Manisha. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. You have such a sparkly crown. It is so pretty this evening. It is. It is. I, I always keep it in the back, like, completely safe. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, tell me, where are we calling you tonight? From Austin, Texas. Okay. Austin, Texas. So the national pageant is right around the corner as we record this. And uh, it's right around the corner from you in Austin, Texas. What are you looking forward to most of the national pageant? Crowning the next winner. I think that would be a great experience. Are, are we going to need security to get the crown away from you? Because you seem rather attached to it. Mm, well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> well, fantastic. Hey, Manisha, tell us a little bit. How did you start getting involved in beauty pageants? Actually, my mom put me in, in one of Annette Rushing's pageants when I was really little. Mm -hmm. Um... It was Little Miss Austin. Okay. And I have won that pageant. And I guess from there, I kind of took like a, an upward toll. Um, I've always been like pretty glamorous. So. Okay. I was one to be in that. Fantastic. So, Manisha, tell me a little bit about how you keep up to date on pageants. Are there any publications, any websites that you follow? Well, I mean, there's uh, there's Facebook, obviously. Right. You know? Um, the fan page and all of that. I keep up with the queens um, through emails, texts. Um, Pageant-wise, I'm always watching the daily pageants. You know, it's all over the news. Oh, all right, that's fantastic. But what is your favorite phase of the competition? Uh, my favorite phase of the competition would probably be the interview. I think that's the best phase. Okay. It's where you get to go one to one on the judges, and you're kind of just like. You know, you're learning more about them, and they're learning more about you, and they get to see your true side, not just your glamorous on-stage side. 
What what types of questions do you like in an interview? What are the types of questions that, that you like to answer? Um, more about me, like asking who are you, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I got I got asked, um, what are your favorite like what do you do? What is my platform? My platform is a is a really big thing to me. Okay. And we're going to get to the platform, but I, I want to put more time for that. I Have you been asked any questions in the interview room where you kind of went, what were they thinking? Why did the judge ask me this question that, that you were just uh, baffled by? Don't name uh, the judge. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, all the questions seem pretty reasonable. Um, I haven't been asked anything completely extraordinary. All right. But see. Well, yeah, you're you're still young. It can still happen. Yeah. Well, I guess it has to be one of the questions. Are you going to continue competing in pageants after you give up? Maybe, maybe. Oh. I, I really like it. Fantastic. Uh, and tell us a little bit about what types of appearances you've had this year. Well, I did a Barton Creek Mall appearance here in Austin with uh, with Santa Claus. With Santa uh, Claus? The Santa Claus? No, not the Santa Claus. Not the Santa close, Claus? Close. Close. His, his beard was awfully yellow. Okay. All right. <laughs> and were there elves around and any reindeer? They have those plastic reindeers and elves, but like those really tall elves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we've all seen those. Yes. Okay. Oh, no. it's, it's okay. Okay. What other types of appearances have you done throughout the year? Um, I actually went to the blind school. A couple of times, which which I guess we're going to get to that. Yes, and but, uh, that's your platform, and we'll be talking about that in a second. Have you had an opportunity on any parades or anything of that nature? Not yet, but I still have a little bit until June 22nd. I haven't gone to any parades yet. I've been so busy. Fantastic. Now, are you still going to school? I am. Okay, and uh, uh, what what level of schooling are you at right now? Okay, I'm actually on a different level, so I go to, I, I'm a junior in college. Okay, a junior in college, and are, do you have a major picked out? I do. Uh, I'm a political science major and a communications major. So, yeah. a political science, communication, and a minor in journalism. So, what, what type of job are you looking to get in, in the future? A lawyer, a lawyer would be my main goal. I'm okay. really getting into law school, and then... A journalist on the side you know you can probably combine them I'm really into politics so political correspondence something along those lines fantastic that sounds like a lot of fun so okay we're going to actually I'm at the time for our first break we're going to take a break and then we're going to come back with more with Manisha Verma she's Miss Junior Team United America 2011 leave a voicemail and comments for Tim and the pageant cast call 262 Seven five seven eight five seven six, and let Tim know what you think of the show. This is Kate Pokelly, World's Miss Tourism 2012, wishing you Tiara Dreams. Welcome to the United States Pageant! The pageant cast is on the road again. We just signed up. We're going to be back at United America 2012. Now, it's a different time of year, folks. It's June 22nd through the 24th. It was in October. Now it's in June, but it's the same great place. It's in Austin, Texas. And I heard about one of the very special things that we're going to be doing there that's exclusive. The only place in the world you can see what we're going to be doing is in Austin, Texas. You're going to find out that's going to be released with a lot of other information. Check their website. We'd love to see all of you at United America this year. Come on out. The pageant cast will be there for United America 2012 in Austin, Texas in June. And we're back now with Manisha Verma. She is Miss Junior Team United America 2011. And uh, Manisha has been worried about her crown getting the whole thing in the shot. I, I'm busting yeah. you on this. Is back? Is that... just, just lean down one time so we can see it for sure. There we go. Yeah, it's a tall one. How tall is that crown? I don't know. I haven't measured it. That's a good point, though. I should probably do that. Is it heavy? That thing looks heavy to me. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah, you... I have a bunch of body pins in the back. Does it ever give you a headache after wearing it for 30, 40 hours in a row? 
Um, kind of, just because I guess I don't know. It kind of squeezes against my head. Okay. It's, yeah. Here, here's uh, here's a helpful little tip. Don't wear it for 30, 40 hours in a row. That, no. That's a helpful thing. I, I have to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So pretty. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, okay, we promised to ask you about this. You have a platform uh, in helping blind children. Tell me how you got involved with that platform. Well, it happened when I was way little. I kind of just, I saw a blind girl. She was playing with her toys, and that, it kind of impacted me in the biggest way. Okay. I mean, it, will, it really did play a big, big role in my life. And then my dad's a doctor, so it's mm-hmm. like, you know, I still have that medical type of talking in the house. Mm-hmm. So what happened was that through the pageant, we decided to, you know, raise awareness for this platform. And the platform is basically a blind school. It's located in India, in uh, New Delhi, India. Okay. And um, what I'm doing is I'm collecting money from here, and I'm taking that money and going over there and doing Braille books for them and, you know, higher technology softwares for them, making their life a lot easier. So I've collected a lot, actually. Um, the tech, South Texas Blind School okay. here in Austin has given us a huge amount of donations, which I'm taking when I go to India in, in July. Okay. Manisha, what, what type of programs do they have at the blind school? What are some of the things that they're teaching the, the young ladies and, and my men that are there? Um, to read is a big one. Uh, okay. They have this small Braille library. It's not too big, so I'm just adding to their uh, Braille library books. What I thought was really cool is that um, from so- the South Texas Blind School, I actually got these 17 magazines. I got these 17 magazines. Uh, so basically what it is is it's... Um, it's braille writing as magazines, so you know while you, you know you read it like that, they read it in braille. So I think it's going to be exciting taking those over there. I kind of feel like the girls would appreciate that a whole lot. Okay, and what age are the kids? Are starting in like kindergarten or? Yeah, starting really little. It's it's a it's a blind orphan school. Okay. So, okay, yeah. So um, it's it, they're very little, and they go up all the way up to like twelfth, I believe. Oh wow! Okay. Well, wow, that's that's fantastic. Uh, if other people y- have seen this video and want to get involved, is there a website or something that they should visit? Yes, it's a Global Health Foundation. Um, I don't have an exact website address. We're getting the website still up right now, but um, okay. Well, uh, when you get that web address, why don't you give it to us and we'll put it out on the Pageant Cast website. How does that sound? That would be amazing. That would be great. Well, we're, we'd are always like to help out with that. Um, what Now, what language are the kids speaking at that particular school? Hindi. It is Hindi. Okay. Now, do you know any Hindi? or? Uh, yes, I speak it fluently. You do? Okay. So, okay, okay, this is me being a nerd. Can you say something in Hindi for me? Sure, what do you mean to say? Well, obviously, how awesome I'm, I am, that would be a good thing to say in Hindi. How about, uh, like, uh, you're, you're watching the pageant cast. How about that in Hindi? Let's see. My pageant cast, thank you, yeah. Okay, well, all right, wow, fantastic. Well, that's very exciting. Now, we got United America is coming up. As we record this, it's, what, three weeks away, two weeks away? It is coming up very, very quickly, which means I have to edit this quickly and put it out on the Internet. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I got to work. Anyway, uh, what are you most looking forward to in this year's pageant? I know, meeting me. What else? <laughs> oh, number one, meeting you. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> um, crowning the new uh, junior team in America. Okay. I uh, Any parts of the pageant that you enjoy more than the other parts? Or? I really enjoy all of it. I actually enjoy watching the pageant for... I love it, Um you know, I guess performing it is, is a lot better, but um, I watched the petite pageant, and that was that was a lot of fun. Now so you, just watching it would be nice. Now, you're one of the younger uh, contestants that were there because they, they have contestants from young to to uh, quite a bit older. 
uh, yep. in this pageant. What is it like being part of the young crowd at, at the pageant uh, like that? Is is that kind of strange, or do you enjoy being in that position? Or I kind of enjoy it. It's um, it's inspiring that like people, you know, even you know, so like uh, in age, they still look beautiful and the glamorous, and they're still you know wanting to do all that. And I think I think that's really good. Well, thanks so much, uh, everybody. That's Manisha Verma. She's Miss Junior Team United America 2011. Thanks, Manisha. Thank you. Well, that's it for tonight's pageant cast, and we'd really like to thank our guest tonight, Manisha Verma. She is Miss Junior Teen United America 2011. Thanks so much, Manisha, for coming on the show. Thank uh, you for having me. Manisha, do you have anything to say to the uh, next Miss Junior Teen United America? Good luck. Uh, that's one major thing to say. Um I hope that her platform really spreads a lot of awareness and I hope that she goes to each and every um, appearance and, you know, tries to make an impact. That's fantastic. Thanks so much, Manisha. Now, one of the things we like to do at the end of the pageant cast is it, we say Tierra Dreams, but we also like to show off our best pageant wave. Can I see your best pageant wave? Yes. Okay, let's see it. Oh, she's got it down, folks. She's got it down. All right. <laughs> So thanks again, Manisha, and until next time, keep that wave going. You're you're giving oh, okay. up too early. No. Now get back to work. Okay, great. All <laughs> right. So good night, everybody, and Tierra Dreams.